Hi folks, Captain Mike here from Salty Cape, and today I'm fishing south, I guess at this point south of Tuckernock, which is just off Nantucket for Benito, Atlantic Benito. And uh, so today I think the plan is um, a trolling and casting combo. Sean's a caster, I'm a troller. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna troll till we find fish. When we do find fish, we're gonna stop and cast. Now I do know that there are plenty of bluefish mixed in, and interestingly enough, a massive school of sea bass is here. So we will have to fish through uh, some, other, some other targets to get to the uh, prized Atlantic Bonito. There we go, and we're tight. There we go, right there. It's a bluefish. On the port side, I have the two and a half ounce sand eel jig and uh, you know the single side wash hook with a bucktail on it and uh, yeah it's pretty handy just single hook and what's nice about a longer sand eel jig is it gets the uh, hook away from the leader I'm not saying a bluefish will bite not won't bite you off of it but I'll let this guy go. So we just released that bluefish on the two and a half ounce sand eel jig. The interesting thing about this jig is the lure itself is so long, actually serves almost as a leader of sorts. We have 30 pound test fluoro and it's still perfect. That was about a seven or eight pound bluefish. And uh, pretty much I got away unscathed here. I lost a few hairs in my bucktail, but, but uh, this jig is good to go. John, there's breaking fish out there. I'm going to bring in the lines. Go. I gotcha. So what we're going to do is show you real quick how we're retrieving these epoxy jigs when we're casting. Now, Benito are pretty fast fish, so we want to make big, long blind casts, preferably downwind, and our retrieves are going to be fairly quick. You basically can't outreel them, so if you're not catching anything, I'd go faster, not slower. I use a lot of rod tip with the fast retrieve because I want that lure to be dancing on the surface and skipping out of the water every couple of waves. The other reason for doing that is we've got a lot of bluefish and even sea bass mixed through here so the faster retrieve helps keep some of them away. That was a little bonito. There we go, right there. Located some bonito, saw some on the surface and started casting and now we've got a good casting bite going on. Sean, nice bonito. Let's bleed this fish and you know I'll cook that one tonight. 